Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys. Today we are going to learn about tap controls in C Sharp Visual Studio. So let's start. For this, first we will create a new project. Now, as you see here, a uh, console application is selected. We will uh, uh, select window form application and from here I will also select the stop So from here I will select a window form app and then now I will click next Now here I will give the application name and which uh, is uh, tab controls Now click create to create the project now the project is created so we will quickly go to the toolbox and from here I will search for tab control and I will drag this to the form now I will expand it to the width of the form And now I will run this form. Now you can see that the uh, application is running, but when I click on this tab, nothing is showing up. So uh, we will change the color of this uh, each of the tab with this uh, tab click, and I will change the text on these tabs as well. So click on the tab controller and now come here to the collection and here you can change the text of the tab. I will call this first tab. And now I will click on this. You can see here the name of the uh, tab is changed, the text of the, of the tab is changed. Now it will be second tab. Now <coughs> I will also change the um, name of the tab as well. So here yeah, this is the name of the tab. Because in code we access the, uh, the tab by this name. So I will call the first underscore tab and I think the second tab is, uh, yes, the first one is selected. I will select this and I will call this second underscore tab and now click OK. Now, as this first, I will select this first uh, tab and drag a label to it so that we can uh, write something on this tab and we know that this is the first tab. So I will change the text of this label to this is the first tab. Now I will go to the second one and here I will change the text uh, on this tab but first I have to uh, drag a label on this tab so here I will change the text to this is second tab now <coughs> if I run this application Now you will be able to see that when I click on the tabs, it uh, changes the text on the tab. Now I will change the background color of the each of the tab. For that, I have to create and fire a method called index change 
selected index change so I will go to this one is the method so I will double click on this and um, uh, the, 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 the tab control name is tab control 1 so I will say if selected tab control 1 dot selected tab equal to first tab then do what change the background color first tab dot back color is equal to color dot green and else f tab control one dot selected tab equal to equal to second tab then do this that second tab dot back color equal color dot yellow now now if I run this and now if I click on the second tab you can see that the on the click event this tab color is changed to yellow and if I click on this uh, first tab you will see that the background of this first tab is uh, changed to green so in this way if you want uh, to use a grid view inside a tab and you can uh, then uh, and you can then populate it with this uh, click event so that's all for today so please like subscribe and uh, uh, share my channel as well as the videos of my channel so that my viewership can grow and I can make more videos like this I I need your help and your support so please support me in this thank you